Hi everyone, welcome to Lily's Craft. My name is Tao, and if you're new to sublimation, then we're gonna be taking this journey together. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing this Epson Workforce WF7820 and trying to convert it into a sublimation printer. we have the printer on box to convert this printer to a sublimation printer we're going to be using the AL2 cartridges that are designed for the Epson WF 4720 4730 4734 since I haven't been able to find a kit designed for this printer yet we're going to be using this cartridge set along with the chips from the original Epson inks that came with the printer. Okay, this kit, I ordered it from Dynamite Gorilla. And the ink I'm gonna be using, I ordered from Ink X Pro. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is transfer the chips from the original Epson cartridges to the refillable ones. So to do that, I'm just going to be popping the chips right off, being careful not to damage the chip. And they just have little tabs that the chip slides right into. It's actually a little groove down here that I'm gonna take off. There we go, we got the first one in. Now that the last chip is in, we're gonna take our ink and inject it inside the cartridge. So we start by taking this part off. We'll get a syringe. And I'm gonna be using a separate syringe for each color. Put some paper towel just in case. Okay. And just get it in there. Just trying to fill it up right now. Try 
to get as least amount of air in here as possible. just a little more and that will probably do it. Okay, it is not full. I'm gonna try to clear some of the top ink so it doesn't spill over and make a mess. Then to close it, we take the take this from the back and cover the front. And I'm going to repeat that same process for the next three cartridges. Now that I'm finishing with the last one, one thing that I would recommend when doing this, something I should have done, is wear gloves. And I will put a link in the bottom to all the materials that I'm using and where I ordered them. So now that all three of the inks are ready, I'm going to set up the Epson printer, just like you would if it was a regular printer. It'll go through the setup. Instead of using the CD, I'm gonna go on the Epson website and download the software directly from their website. Okay, just finished setting up the printer. I would say it probably took about 10 minutes to go through the whole printer setup. I ended up installing the printer via Wi-Fi. So we'll see how that goes. And now we're ready to print our first sublimation image. And remember to print it as a mirrored image. I'm printing it in an eight and a half by 11 sublimation paper. I'm using a sub sublimation paper. Like I said, I'll put uh, everything that I used in the description. And here it is. And here's the final result, guys. Get that a little closer. There you go. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know.